Hey everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda. Uh, on the second quest, and pretty much we're almost done with it here. Just got level 9 left, so we going to that in this part. First, I'm just gonna recharge a little bit. Still pick up some loose change while I'm at it. Seriously, I'm getting so much loose change here, my goodness. <clears throat> now, level 9 is gonna be a little bit tricky to explore everything. Um. I think you can do it in one pass, but I have to go on the right side of the place, and I have to know... I think there's some bomb, bombable walls and stuff you can kind of get away with. Uh, I'm wondering if I should do it that way. Let's just try to get through the rooms as... You know, semi quickly here, because there actually aren't, again there aren't that many places that you know have like item drops. Mostly it's like bombs and rupees and you know stuff that's not very useful. You know, a number of dead ends, basically. line towards level 9 here. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look at this place. Yeah, this might take me a while to explore, and I don't know if I'm going to lose a potion for this. I'm not gonna defeat all the enemies in every single room here because like most of the stuff you get is useless. It's like rupees, bombs, and probably half the rooms nothing. <clears throat> Actually going up here, I think there's a patcher up here. Yeah, there's a patcher up here. I'd rather get hit by the fireballs, because they hurt quite a bit less. Uh, it only costs a quarter of a heart versus a whole heart. I usually prefer doing this with the red ring. The problem is you don't get that red ring until like the end of the... Uh, the end of the level here, so it's kind of, kind of sucks. So we're just gonna kind of scout around the place here. It's hoping I get some refills here. This area here in the middle is more of a, a lot of dead ends here. A lot of closed doors and all. If you're first playing through this, it might this might actually not be a bad idea because it would kind of get you a you know, give you a sense of which way to go here. It's like okay, I already explored this room; it's a dead end. You know, kind of give you that 
mindset so that you know, okay, which way do I go? Because it gets a little more confusing when you actually get to the main path. You know, because they're all open doors, so you don't know which one you're supposed to go into. you can actually go through these walls here. Save you a lot of trouble later on. Yeah, so I, I guess you know maybe the game intended for you to go around. for you to go around uh, all the way to the back of the level and then come back around this way, but you don't have to do that. I'm taking a lot of damage already, honestly. That's what, again, that's, do it, if you do this with the red ring, it's not that big an issue to explore. Realize you can go this way. Yeah, you have to clear out this room here. Do that in just a second here, because I think there's a. You might as well pocket the loose change there. Yeah, you might as well get this now, because, you know, there's no point in going all the way to the end and realizing you have no silver arrows. Now they give you that way to get to it. a fairly benign room for once. <laughs> Not much in here. And again, that door to the left leads back to the, um, that closed door you saw earlier. Place one of the blue wizards with a, an orange one. <laughs> Much easier to take out. Now this leads up to a dead end here. Bunch of blue bubbles up here, but yeah, you can't go down because it's actually a, it's gonna be a one-way wall here. Again, I don't know if the game was intending for you to go this way. You know, had they not put the hidden walls at that other point, you know, you might have had to do it this way. You know, you get the red ring and then go all the way to the end, and you have to go all the way back around again. But I kind of forgot the hidden walls there, you <laughs> kind of get to round this whole thing. Yeah, 
look at that. See, just kind of a another dead end right here. And this should take you back to the beginning here. Go right here, look at that, it just takes you <laughs> right outside the wall there. Uh I wonder if I should get some refills here. May not be such a bad idea actually. You know, get some refills. Hmm. We'll see how far we can get here. Maybe the maybe we'll get some refills along the way here. Cause there are you know a bunch of lionels outside, probably just beat them up and they hopefully should drop some hearts, so. Getting a couple of hearts there. Okay, no point in being in that room. Uh, this room just has a bunch of like likes in it. It's very handy to buy yourself some time there. I kind of know a lot of dead end rooms here, so give you a sense of which rooms I'm not going to here. I really could use some hearts here. This room just has a couple of slow bolas, whatever these things are. Just try to pick up any refills I can get here. That's just all red bubbles, so <laughs> luckily you can bomb this wall. A little bit easier to do it this way. Uh, down here, yeah, now you start coming. Kind of having to learn which doors not to go into here. Because again, if you look at your map, like again, anything you've already explored, if you go into those doors, it's pretty much, uh, they're going to close down on you, so. So you always want to go into the rooms you haven't explored yet. This room's just ugliness. <laughs> we'll just pass by that room, thank you. Yeah, you're just kind of trying to find a spot to hide here. After you clear that out, it's a little more manageable here. 
Now, when you clear all, all the enemies here, the, uh, the enemies don't return because of that one bubble. So again, you look at your map, you know, which rooms have you not explored yet, so you go the way you haven't explored. And do not go right. You can actually go to the right and uh, lead you back to a dead end. opposite corner first. That's fine. Hit the bubble. That's fine. That's just a regular bubble, so you only lose your sword for a few seconds there. Uh, head on to this corner first. We find more of these guys. Now, uh, magic one with the magic book actually works really well. Look at that. Just took the whole thing out. The thing is, they give you the red ring really late in this level, so it wouldn't be that useful. But we'll take whatever mileage we can get here. We got another Patra here, I gotta beat up here. Seriously, I have almost maxed out my money already. Yeah, that door to the left, as attractive as it looks, uh, it actually leads to nothing. Ironically. It's just another little trick they play on you here. Make you think that's the way to go, but it's not. Uh, Red Ring's always so good to have here. <laughs> Do less damage to you. Getting annoyed by these bubbles here. I mean, they're just regular flashy ones, but, you know, still. Yeah, really nothing in this room, just a few fires and a couple bubbles. <clears throat> so we're pretty much almost done with this place. I don't know if it, uh, it might be a little smaller in terms of size than uh, uh, the first quest. Yeah, see, the, the room right above is where that um, the, all the blue bubbles are, so it's a one-way wall up there. Can't seem to hit this thing. You know, still doing okay on hearts here. I think I'm still okay on hearts. I mean, I have two potions anyway, so... Yeah, 
there we go. Uh, dead again. Yeah, I still have two potions of spare here. Alright, well, he's dead again here, so... <clears throat> I made it through that in one fell swoop there. Yeah, the map isn't as big because a lot of it is just a big dead end. Uh, so that is the second quest in a nutshell there. Oh yeah, zero deaths there. Now the thing is that I, I thought it usually says end of Legend of Zelda. It doesn't say that in this case. At least that's what the NES version had put. Now, you see the new icon right here? Uh, this link with the giant Triforce behind him. Uh, that is going to be the fourth quest. So yeah, this I've already run through it. Um, if you if you type Ganon in, like say second quest is if you type Zelda in, that gets you second quest. Um, if you type Ganon in, that gets you to the fourth quest. Uh, and there's another name you'll type in to get to the third quest, which I will I'll start a separate file for that. Uh, just to show you what it's like. Uh, honestly, the third quest is harder than the fourth quest. So, uh, the third quest, if you, I think if you finish the game with under 16 hearts, uh, you'll get the third quest. Um, but if you finish with 16 hearts, you'll get the fourth quest, as uh, shown right here. So, uh, I'll finish the second quest here, and the next, next up will be, uh, I'm probably just going to do the third quest. Uh, again, I ha I'll, I'll show you the name you type in to automatically access that quest. Alright, see you guys later.